All that seems to be to life is working, getting old, and feeble, and dying. Which is what's happened to Peggy Clary, and there doesn't seem to be any God in her life at all. And no one really seems to care. I am really surprised how people like Peggy can exist in this world. I guess her daughters and son keep her going. Maybe it's family that keeps the old alive. I don't know. Oh well. Over and out. Bruce Ramsey. I will be back. Over and out for now. You know who. Friday night. Believe it or not, my family and I have decided to change my name. November 4th, 1988. Friday night. Believe it or not, my family and I have decided to change my name. We all agreed that my name, Bruce, is a horrible name and has been ruined by the media by giving it the reputation associated with homos. From now on, as of this night, I am no longer going to go by the name of Bruce, but will go by the manly name of Ross, which should change my personality, make me more aggressive, and better yet, will helpfully make people take me seriously now. I might even be able to attract a girl now, also. <coughs> My dad told me, uh, my dad told my mom that he never liked the name Bruce, but agreed to call me it, call me that, because there were too many Scots in, the, in his family. But we never see his family's relatives, and my uncle Ross died over ten years ago. Not only that, but whenever we get together with the Mitchells, it becomes very confusing because if someone calls out for Bruce, three people answer at the same time. Not only that, the gold saying, what's in a name, seems to ring true many times. <clears throat> anyway, it seems that that is the name that I should be called now. After we all agreed, <clears throat> to it that I should now be called Ross, and that no one should ever call me Bruce again, but that my name should be, but that that name should be banished from our family. After I, we ch decided to change my name, get rid of Rod, Bruce and banish it from our family, <clears throat> I was watching the credits on TV at the time at the end of a show and saw someone's name in the credits. The guy's name was Barry Bruce. Not not like Barry, but like Barry Kennedy. Barry Bruce. I told, I took this as, as God's little way of telling me that although it said Barry, said the name Barry, I should bury the name Bruce. And now go by the name of Ross. So as of this day, Bruce Ramsey no longer exists. <clears throat> this really, the last journal I wrote really was the last journal of Bruce Ramsey. That'll be something else. Believe it or not, I went to a Chinese restaurant with my parents tonight and seemed to get another con confirmation from God that has made me decide to change my name again. Well, change my ways again. Believe it or not, I didn't know if I should take pictures of my body again, especially since I realize now that the pictures <sighs> developing, no, not, yeah, especially since I realize now that the picture developing place I have been sending my nude pictures to be developed at have been keeping tabs on me. Since they gave me a negative from a separate role that I last developed, Realizing this has embarrassed me and made me wonder if I was being sinful. Well, what happened tonight has changed my ways because after the lousy Chinese food, and that Chinese food was horrible, 
terrible. <clears throat> we had at the King Blah restaurant. King Wa is what it's really it's really King Wa, but it should be, it should have been called King Blah. Old leftovers food is what it probably was. Anyway, at the restaurant, the lady gave us fortune cookies. My parents' fortunes, fortune cookies. Uh, carried just your average basic message like uh, you'll go on an important trip or you'll have a you have a vibrant personality or so you'll meet someone who will help you or something like that. The fortune cookie I received uh, said you are the center of attention in groups or yeah something, something like that you are the center of attention in groups you are the center of attention in groups please wear some clothing well, it was something like that, and although it was a pagan fortune cookie, I took it as God's little way of talking to me, uh, his little message to me. God can use anything. It doesn't have to be Christianity in the Bible all the, all the time, I think. That's what I believe. The neat thing about all this is that it has increased my faith in a personal God. Over and out, Ross Ramsey. P.S. I just... We remembered how it went. It went, in groups, you're all the center of attention. Wear some clothing, please. Yeah, in groups, you're the center of attention. Wear some clothing, please. Anyway, I am now in Sacramento. Everyone is agreeing with me that I have been misnamed all my life. My, fa my whole family agrees, though, that Ross is a, a lot better name than Bruce. PPS. It is now November 6th, 1988, Sunday morning, and, I, and I'm not going to be called Ross, but Alan. In the family, I'll be called Bruce, or Box, or Boxer, like I'm usually called. My dad calls me Boxer. Uh, but to the world, I'll be known as Alan. Grandma thought it would be too much of a hassle to change my name to Ross, so... I'll drop my faggy first name and go by Alan. Oh, you're probably wondering why I'm called Box or Boxer. The reason is because my dad hates the name Bruce so much that he thinks the word Boxer is better. He's called me Boxer, or The Boxer, for about 10 years now because I used to be an amateur boxer. I was in amateur boxing. <clears throat> In college, it was uh, nine years ago. I used to box at the welterweight. My parents think I was so interested in boxing because I was trying to show that I, just because I had a faggy name didn't mean I was queer. And they think that bo that, that our cousin, Bruce Aaron, my cousin that is, is getting into so much trouble because his name's Bruce also. Anyway, who knows? I really don't know if it's my name that uh, got me interested in boxing or not. I think it's really just because it interested me. Interested me. Over and out, Alan Ramsey. November 10th, 1988, Thursday night. Well, I have some bad news to report. Grandma's teeth are going to have to be pulled due to infection. It will cost a lot, and she'll have to wear a plate, which will be very in uncomfortable. Which will be very uncomfortable for her. Anyway, I got um, my test back in computers, and oh well, I got a D on it. Hopefully, my parents, hopefully my my papers in the class will raise my grade. I did get a high B plus in my exceptional children class, though. I should have gotten an A, though, from all the hours I studied for it. I'll probably do lousy on the next test and get C's out of the class I'm taking. Anyway, I'm really not enjoying school, and I'm still having a difficult time accepting my predicament in becoming a teacher. But, who knows, maybe I'll enjoy it someday? Maybe? 
I'm beginning to think I'm one of these types who will be taken out of the world with a painful cancer. I don't know what it is, but I feel I'm uh, I feel like I'm cancer bait. Trouble is, I don't think I'd really care if I got it. Anyway, with homework out of the way, I have been revising a 1987 story that I wrote called Now Shall Be Their Perplexity, and I'm thinking of seeing if I am thinking of seeing if um, if a story magazine will publish it called uh, The Flame. That's what the magazine's called. It's called The Flame. I'm see if they'll publish it. It had a lousy short science fiction fantasy story in it that I think pales tremendously up against my story. So who knows? I just might get something published for a change. <clears throat> I think it will be, I think it will, because I'm going to put Ellen Ramsey for the author of it instead of my original name. Anyway, I don't know if I enjoy the idea that Dukakis lost or not. I told, I voted for Bush from a flip of the coin. Uh, I voted for him in the hopes that if Bush won, I wouldn't be wasting another four years thinking the great, thinking the Greek he-goat the Greek Dukakis was going to be the AC, being that he had raised taxes. But, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of depressed because still nothing has, is happening, and I don't see Reagan being the AC anymore, especially Bush. I feel as though. I have been pushed out into the harsh, cruel world of reality now. And it's so boring. So boring. Believe it or not, I'm not the only one bored with life. My parents told me as they drove me down to Sacramento last Saturday that they were bored too. And were actually looking forward to death, to dying, to get them out of existence. I really don't blame them. Over and out, Mr. Bored Alan Ramsey. <coughs> P.S. It is now Friday night, and I let Kevin read my revised story called Now Shall Be Their Perplexity, and he thinks the flame will hate it due to its Christian content. I hate to admit it, but I think he's right. You know, people hate Christians. I mean, especially literary people. Oh, well. Over and out, Alan Ramsey. <clears throat> PPS. It is now Saturday night, and I am having a difficult time studying. I am so bored. Trouble is, I feel numbed. I feel very numbed to life. Very, very numbed. Okay, November 13th, 1988, Sunday afternoon, yesterday. My parents called today telling me and my brother that they think Reagan still has the possibility of becoming the Antichrist because Bush became elected vice president, I mean, became elected president. They heard on the news that Bush's, Bush's victory was Reagan's victory because if the caucus um, one, it would show the world that the Iran-Contra thing did destroy Reagan. But since Bush won, Reagan has been vindicated and is the victorious one. It would really be hard for Reagan to become the AC if Dukakis become, became president. But now, it will be more realistic. Dukakis and Benson won't have to die mysteriously before the 20th of January now. Anyway, I sure hope my parents are right. If they are, then there is just two more, two months left for the rapture to occur. And our theory that has held up for the last eight years will be totally destroyed. And I and my family will be totally destroyed also because we are really getting tired of our existences here on Earth. <clears throat> I'm having an incredibly difficult time enjoying school. And the thought of being stuck 
in a retard class for half a century. I think I'd be tempted to blow my brains out than to put up with that. Talk about boring. Oh well, anyway, I'm thinking of sending my story, Now Shall Be Their Perplexity, to the magazine called The Flame. Over and out, Alan Ramsey. P.S. Another reason why they think Re Reagan could be the Antichrist is because they heard on the news that Bush has got to raise taxes. My mom thinks that before Reagan leaves office, he'll raise taxes for Bush. Daniel seems to hint that before the rapture takes place, the man who becomes the Antichrist will have to raise taxes. So, we should keep our eyes on Reagan and see if he's going to do that to fill the scripture. Then shall stand up in his estate a razor taxes in the glory of the kingdom. But within few days he shall be destroyed. Walked in? Neither in anger nor in battle. The very next verse says, And in his estate, station, possibly body, shall stand up a vile person, possibly Satan and Reagan's body. So, there have got to be reports of Reagan raising taxes before the 20th of January. Actually, it should be a few days before the 20th. Things have got to start happening now, or it's all she wrote with our Reagan theory. Personally, I feel it's already over, and has been, because things like this have always come and gone. If Reagan was going to be the AC, I think he would have been it a long time ago. <clears throat> Over and out, Ellen Ramsey. P.S. Uh, P.P.S. I really hate looking in my grandma's mirror to see the back of my head because it really makes me look like I'm balding. Today I lost around 30 hairs from the back of my head. Um when I combed it, and the hairs were very thin, small, and spindly, the sign that I'm going to be a repulsive, bald, buzzard head if I let myself live to that uh, point. November 14th, 1988, Monday morning, today. This is what I wrote today. I am going to mail off my story today. Anyway, I have some bad news, interesting news to report. Kevin has been really upsetting my grandma by being incredibly negative toward her radio stations in the morning. He's always been negative, but today it made her cry. I told Grandma that I believe Kevin's demonic, I believe Kevin's demonic demon possessed in the morning, that it, that it probably gets into him while he, while he's asleep, and that it's been working on Grandma to destroy her happiness. I told Grandma that she should. Uh, <coughs> not let it bother her, but that the next time he is negative, he, she should ignore him and agree with him. Don't, and don't put up an argument, since arguing is what the spirit feeds on, it seems to feed off of. Uh, Kevin is, yeah, that way, Grandma, well anyway, got, Grandma's going to try it. The reason why I think Kevin is demon-possessed in the morning is because he never says anything good about anything. And he seems to have an incredible amount of hate toward the Bible. And anything nicey or goody-goody. Probably the reason why he hates Republicans and Mormons so much is because even though they are... Um, wrong on many on a lot of things they stand for morality which is what this demon in Kevin seems to hate so much which again seems to show me that he's possessed and it always seems to be in the morning I really don't think it was a result of him taking drugs because he's always been grouchy in the morning I should say you're grouchy probably 
when he's asleep, he's subconscious, his subconscious uh, opens up and like some one in a trance, the demons get into him. It seems to have gotten a lot worse since he took drugs. So maybe the drugs opened a door up in his head? <clears throat> anyway, Grandma's main goal is to now see if she can keep from getting involved. The demon in Kevin seems to play off of her concern and care. I told Grandma that the reason why she's so uh, nerve-wracked is because she cares too much. She lets Kevin, or the demon, take her for a depressing, nerve-wracking ride and that she should just concentrate on ignoring him the next time he flies into a uncontrollable uncontrolled uncontrollable demon or drug uh, negative tizzy who knows it just might leave him it just might <coughs> leave him if it can't cause heat and depression to well up within grandma like it seems to enjoy doing oh i almost forgot Another reason why we think it could be demonic is because he said that he'd like to be like the Republicans and have power through deceit and lying. He says he was joking, but it really sounded like he meant it. Over and out, Alan Ramsey. I'll see you uh, again. You'll see me again if I continue on this tape. Over now. It's starting to turn green in here. I go green. Green. It's getting greener and greener. And greener. And greener. And greener. It will break, right? It will break right now. It will break right. It should break right now. I feel so. Anyway, you know who this is. Alan Ramsey, Bruce Ramsey. I don't, I don't, I, I don't care. Anyway, the date today is December second, nineteen eighty-eight, and this is what I wrote. Uh, what did I? When did I write this? this? November fourteenth. So it's been quite a while. Okay. <clears throat> 